Uh, well, we're happy to uh, show off our new uh, fire engine uh, for the City of Fort Walton Beach Fire Department. It's a 2020 Pierce. Uh, it pumps over 1,500 gallons of water a minute. Uh, carries over 1,000 feet of uh, supply fire hose uh, and uh, holds over 750 gallons of, of water. Um, it is replacing uh, our rescue unit. So uh, while it's, uh, it's always great to get in a new fire engine, uh, this is a new era for the fire department in that we will be able to have two fire apparatus in the downtown area now. Uh, we currently just have the ladder truck uh, and a rescue unit, which is basically just a medical response unit. Uh, this engine will replace that rescue unit, giving us much more capability uh, than we do uh, previously. We, we run a lot of calls, we run a lot of mutual aid, um, and whenever that ladder truck from downtown is, is, is out of the area here, uh, it basically leaves this area uncovered by Fort Walton Beach units. Uh, and it's covered by uh, our partners, Ocean City Right or Okaloosa Island. Uh, so there can be a delay in response um, because we now have two units uh, down here. It will be a much quicker response than we had before. Yeah, this is a great half cent sales tax project, uh, about $533,000 for the engine. And um, the half cent sales tax has been very good for public safety in the city of Fort Walton Beach. Uh, we recently uh, were able to change out all of our uh, breathing apparatus uh, throughout the department, uh, which was very out of date, uh, and we just recently uh, purchased some new cardiac monitors also. So the half cent sales tax has been very beneficial to, to the city residents. We run a total of four uh, firefighters on the engine each shift, uh, so a total of, of uh, 12 will, will be assigned to this engine. Uh, two were previously assigned to the rescue unit, and so we had to hire a total of six new firefighters, and we did that with the new fire assessment uh, that was implemented this past year. Uh, this truck is pretty much a sister uh, to the truck that we have at Station 7 on the north end of the city with a couple of, uh, of different things. This is the bumper on the front of this one is a little bit more extended, carries a little bit more hose. And one of the things we really like about this truck is that we've lowered the hose bed in the back so that firefighters don't have to step up on the tailboard to pull hose. It's, that's a, it's, in the fire service, that's a, uh, one of the areas where we get a lot of injuries is stepping up and down off the fire truck, rolling ankles and so forth. So we've helped uh, alleviate that problem. It is not in service yet. Uh, we're doing a wash down and push in dedication ceremony tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Uh, we're going to stream that live on our Facebook page. Uh, we got a few more things that need to be mounted and some stuff that needs to be done and then it'll be in service very soon.